Hey guys, so I just uploaded the second Night Walk podcast and the audio still isn't really that great when I'm walking, so sorry about that. I hope that I fix it. It works kind of well if you turn the volume down pretty low. You don't hear all the little sounds that are annoying, the scratching sounds or whatever. Anyways, there's a couple of verses that I read in Proverbs that I didn't feel like I had a good hold on just reading them right off the bat and never really thinking about them before. And so now I'm, I'm looking at them, and there's a commentator who gives some really short and simple, uh, a really short and simple commentary on these verses, and I think that they're pretty accurate. And so I'm going to share those with you now. And that is Proverbs 14:10. Let me find that really quick. Proverbs 14:10 says, "The heart knoweth." his own bitterness, and a stranger doth not intermeddle with his joy. The heart knoweth his own bitterness, and a stranger doth not intermeddle with his joy. And so this commentator says, each one best knows his own sorrows or joys. Okay, and I think that hits it right on the the head of the nail there. Um, the heart knows his own bitterness. Okay, we we know our own sorrows. No one can know our sorrows like we can, except for God. God's the only one who understands that, and we can. No one can know our joys only like we can, except for God. Okay, and so I think that's a great way to understand that verse. Um, you know, we might feel like we understand other people's sorrows and joys, but you know, we we can never really truly understand other people's sorrows or joys and they can't understand ours either but God who knows all things who is omniscient and you know he knows the beginning from the end the end from the beginning he knows you know our thoughts he knows all things and so anyways the other verse was Proverbs 15.23 Proverbs 15.23 says a man hath joy by the answer of his mouth and a word spoken in due season, how good is it? And so basically, good advice blesses the giver and receiver. Okay. So, you know, there are words that can be blessings. Uh, you know, there are words that can bring joy. Um, it's pretty simple, really. But since I kind of blanked out on those two, uh, I thought I would share that. So thanks for watching. God bless.